Hi, it's been a while. I've been doing a lot of gardening, <laughs> but which is not to say I haven't worked on journals and lap books and stuff. And um, I made this one a while ago, and um, I really love when they turn out to be objects. And I think I really love books as objects in and of themselves, almost like without opening it, and just how this looks and how you kind of look at and you wonder what's inside. I think that's an amazing moment in for junk journals. I think that's one of the things I love about junk journals is just that you don't know what's in there and it's exciting to find out. And um, so that's one of the things that I really enjoy. And I had some of this paper left, which I really like. It's colorful and kind of fun. And I think it reminds me of my childhood actually. And this is canvas that is tea dyed. And, um, and I have uh, made a journal with some of these papers and I had uh, been back at the store and thought I might try um, another one. So uh, these papers are really fun. I think they're from India and they're handmade and they were on sale. And so I just love the colors. They're bright and like very spring oriented. And I'd gotten some of this um, yarn from someone on Etsy and I'll put that link and really love that and so I kind of wanted to do something with that as well um, and these books are just in with the um, the elastic that's in here <laughs> and I don't know if you can see the um, eyelets and that's been a great way to kind of add um, books to to lap books that I found. And then another thing I've been using a lot of is um, pattern paper. And the one I'm working on now is without pattern paper, but I made a whole series of different kinds of pattern paper. And so sharing those soon. And I think the other thing that happened was I got some of those little clips and they were so cute and I wanted to use those. And I'd gotten the die cut, uh, Tim Holtz's die cut and thought that was fun to use also. And um, another thing I gotten was um, some of the tags from the paper addiction, which everybody loves. I love, love, love. And I wanted to use them. And so there, this is jam packed. And then this is from Feeling Sentimental, beautiful um, ephemera. And so I wanted places to tuck those in. I was trying to use a little more fiber again but that wasn't working very well, I think. <laughs> so, different things that I was kind of playing with, but combining sort of this fiber paper with pattern paper with fabric, which doesn't always work great. Um, I think when, you know, sort of just going through the process of using the materials that seem interesting, you end up with what you end up with. I'm fine with that. Um, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Um, also using a lot of flower postcards and more of Feeling Sentimental's beautiful um, ephemera. I love the sewing and the look at this is so pretty to write on. So I just really enjoy enjoy that. And so this journal I think has stuff from other folks, lots of postcards, vintage postcards with flowers and some handmade paper that I purchased at a local uh, supply store and little tags and paper and then this is the next and these I think these um, three journals have a similar format in terms of the paper that I use this vintage music piano paper um, another download that I printed out and wanted to tuck some please and more vintage postcards. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Did I know that? Or were they just stuck together? I don't know. Put them next to each other. Um, and this one's just the same. A tea bag in there from yet another person. So I've been getting um, other people's sort of ephemera, and I love it so much, but I don't know what to do with all of it. 
so I have been kind of tucking it into um, this is a download from on just the online and more little paper addiction tags a place to keep them because they're just so great in the paper oh and then I made a little book sort of folded paper just some great paper and tuck that in here and then another little book with some wonky paper you can take it along write some notes tucked in here and then this um, opens up this way and another little tough spots with tags and fun little um, it's silly but I really enjoyed the um, paper clips with designs and more little bits tucked in so cute I'm into cute because it's really relaxing and yeah we can still see that and then this last one and then I figured out it's not a good idea to put cloth under there it just gets mashed so I won't be doing that again and this opens up and there's lots of tags in here and tags in there and then this opens up here let's see and there's a um, little tuck spot in there and this opens up lots of little bits and then that closes and so it just opens up and then in order to really get everything into it's this is kind of mashed I guess but uh, not mashed but it's not exactly perfect because this opens up something a little bit too much in there I think but this gets tucked in here this gets folded in here and then this kind of gets shuffled in and there we are and um, yeah so I think I was real interested this has the two books in the front and the one in the back and just this hard piece folded over and it's a nice like packet and I think that's what I really enjoy. And then this time with this beautiful yarn, um, sort of closing it up like a little package. And then the whole idea is, you know, I love the, the sort of the final product of people's junk journals and the way they look. And you just kind of want to see what's in there. It's a mystery, kind of creating a treasure, a treasure chest, a story, or something that people want to you know to open and see what you're telling them so I, I have that in mind a lot more about maybe making books about characters or things like that I made a few a while ago but didn't follow that through so that's something that's on my mind to develop a little more so we'll see what happens but I do have um eight journals lap book type things that are fold outs that I've made that are a little different and more recycled and now I'm working on another one a little bit like this with, with no pattern paper. <laughs> see if I can see what I can come up with that way. Thanks.